Hello everyone, the Pokemon fan, that's Tiny 3 here, back with more Pokemon uh, TCG Online Versus. Now, um, I actually started recording this once before, but I got into a uh, kind of a boring war with this guy where we were kind of just waiting each other out, and it would have been very good to just been us. Like, the match like, it took like 20 minutes. I won, but it took me 20 minutes, and it just wasn't that interesting. So, um, I'm going to use my grass deck, I think. I will use my fire deck, but I'm going to switch over to my grass deck. So when I said I won that, I won that barely. I barely won that one, so. Let's see if anything better happens here. Okay, apparently has a dragon deck, which can be a bad thing. Lucif Lufkli 8. Lufkli 8, alright. Because he, he's choosing himself to go first. I got Delamese, but that's not very good. One of his attacks is powerful, but only after a point you get knocked out. A point, uh, when I when we get knocked out last turn, I got Bird Keeper that could probably help, but I got to draw another basic Pokemon or for that to work. Okay, Dratini and Noibat, pretty common stuff. My turn. At least I can still hit him with a decent amount of damage. 30 is pretty good, I guess. I hope I can uh, hit it again before it evolves into Dragonair. Go three damage to the Pokemon, okay. There's Dragon Dragonair. So this kid doesn't work because he already healed himself. Why would you play that and then use he That makes no sense. You could have just used Shed Skin and saved your potion. Whatever. Stupid people, I swear to God. Alright. What does Shed do? That's 20 damage times number of heads. Throw a big charm on my Delamise. We use Anchor, Anchor. Er, Anchor, Anchor. If he evolves into Dragonite, he can get rid of the poison and the confusion, but I don't know how what the chances are that he has Dragonite in his hand. Nope, he's just putting extra energy on them. Nope, he's swapping out, alright. Nope, he actually did well, but son of a bitch. But I still do have the advantage. Wait, what? Oh, it, it, it gets rid of all of its uh, damage counters. What the hell was all that? Okay. So it heals all damage from it, but... Oh, are you kidding me? I didn't get the... Oh, I don't have any freaking aggressor. Are you kidding me? God dang it. Just for that, this thing wouldn't be an issue at all. Careful, it gets both. Okay, we're good. Say if he gets both heads, it means that I, I'm paralyzed, but that's rude, might help. Play the Pokey Kid. I'm gonna grab my Orbeetle out of my deck. I think that's a good idea. I'm gonna set him here. Anchor, anger, 30 damage. Now he's working on his Noibat. Pails, alright, I'm good. Alright, so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna switch to Orbital B. There's the card that I wanted, so let's put him on Orbital B. That's going to do 20 damage. And I can choose to switch my, po my Pokemon, but I'm not going to. Must have a plan to evolve Noibat into the next form. Uh oh. Son of a bitch. I have the police in our way, so I'm not overly worried about that. So let's do that, first of all. Mysterious Wave does an extra 50 plus an extra 30 damage for each energy attack, so your Dragonite's gone. That's always the problem with Dragon dragon type decks in this game, is that you can always have that one time where you get screwed. And yes, I have three po. Uh, three to four B that my deck, but at least my deck is centered around one type. So, all those who are gonna say, "Oh, you did it too," well, that's because I didn't do it like everybody else does. They all focus, they all freaking branch out with their types. They use every other type, and that's not. I just don't find that very fun. What's the point? I, ha ha I think a Pokemon deck should be themed. Put another fire. Well, it's over. Bye. 110.
Alright, that was a pretty short one, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do another one. Through the hard charm, even though it doesn't matter. I got two tournament uh, tickets I never use. As you can see, I have 157 up there. Let's do it one more deck, one more match. A black guy with a brown mustache and a black afro. All right. I'm not gonna go first. I never choose to go first. Ah, damn. Meaning he probably gets one or two draws because I'm mulligan. I wasn't fully aware how much the game changed when I first until I first started playing this because, well, first of all, I never read the official rule book and I was just kind of going by what everyone told me. You know how like it's like Uno, you and in the actual game you can't stack draw fours, but you but and most people would say that oh that's bullcrap, but it's true. I have a pretty good hand, actually. I only have one Pokemon, but still a pretty good hand regardless. Alright, what are you starting with? I want to know. Okay, so, um, I know I'll save why it works. He's going to use Crazy <clears throat> Crazy Claws, allows him to do 10 damage, and then does, after that, it does 60 more damage for each damage counter on my Pokemon. Alright. First thing I'm doing, I'm going to play uh, Poke Kid. that's going to allow me to get my Sceptile out of my deck. I'm going to put a big charm on Trico. We're going to put one Breath's Energy on Trico, and we're going to go for Smack. Which does no damage because, you know, Heart Charm. Me having Pokemon Center waiting in my hand, too, helps. At least I hope it's going to. I was gonna go for a load search. Okay, so he's going for, he's gonna add a trainer card back to his hand, which is the professor's letter. So I'm fine for another turn. Rest energy on Trico, we're gonna play mm, no, we're not gonna do that. I'm gonna evolve uh grow vial into or um trust out to grow vial. I mean what I meant to say was uh Trico to grow vial. Play Poke Kid. He's gonna get two more energy cards in his deck. What's he gonna do now? Okay, now he's probably gonna go for Crazy Claws. Yeah. I'll be fine for a while, so I'm not worried about that. But Grass Energy, I'm just rude. Evolve Grow Vile into Sceptile. Powerful Storm does 20 damage to times the energy attached for one, and its weakness is so loses 100 HP. Which means his Pokemon is basically done. Even if he goes for another um, Crazy Claws. Okay, so he he healed himself a bit. All right. I don't think it's gonna be an issue though. He's going free claws into the 70 this time. But because I have Pokemon Center Lady in my hand, I can heal some of the damage. So he only does a little. Le he does less damage than he normally do next turn. So I'm gonna go for Powerful Storm again. Weakness knocked it out. Sable is good if you know how to use it, but uh, something that's not easy to use. Alright, so. Got Pokemon Center Way, Mr. Termination, and my second Saru. The Pokemon. I couldn't. He freaking goes too fast for me to read any of that. Okay, so he's putting a support card. Let's see. The Pokemon's attached. <sighs> if this Pokemon is. If you're at the Pokemon and it's not that by a Pokemon's deck, you may move the previous energy from that Pokemon to one of the other Pokemon. Alright. Put another Saru on my bench. I'm going to use Sonya to grab two more uh, Grass Energy cards. From my deck. Even need them. Both Zeruz had the same attacks, by the way, so. Powerful Storm. 100. I don't think we'll read the fine print either, because with B cards, for example, that one, you always take two prize cards if you knock one out. That's not going to help you, you're still going to lose. You're still going to lose. That was a pointless attack. That was a pointless move. Do 100 damage to him, he didn't have that. Anything beyond that. So now I'm going to play Mr. Termination, I'm just going to get a Sceptile in my hand. And I'm going to choose to pit one card from here into my hand. I'm going to choose Cocos Trap. Hmm. Maybe. No, let's do Cocos Trap. A little insurance policy. I 
I apologize if you can see that in my upper uh, left window. That's a notification from my Discord. So I pretty, I'm, I see what uh, Silver's going to do. He's going to use tripping uh, or uh, right for a poison to put a uh, poison counter on my Sceptile. However, okay, so he's going to go for tripping. No, he can't, can't, he can't use tripping shot. He needs another dark energy. So I'm going to lose t a 10 HP because of... He must be complaining about, um... I don't know if you guys can even see that. He must be complaining about the PS5s being overpriced again. They have always been overpriced. So I'm going to do that. This going to grow the poison in that. And I'm going to put one, another grass energy on him to powerful storm. Which is 140 damage. I'm pretty sure I've got this one, but we're going to see how it, go how it plays out. Okay, so he's sw swapping one, my Pokemon with my bench Pokemon. Um, that's actually the worst thing you could have possibly done, actually. Yeah, he's able to poison me, but... I'll show you what... Hang on, do I have... Yeah, so it doesn't work in this particular situation. We're gonna poke the kid. What else do I have here? Let's grab Delamese on my deck. Put uh, it on my bench. We're gonna do that. Oh, crap. I wasn't paying attention. I should have gone for the other one. That's my own fault. Is he going to have the energy to put on Zerud? Or on Slow Slowbro next turn? Okay, so he has the same cards that I do. Alright, so he just confused me. Not worried about that. I got the other Pokemon Center Lady. I'm going to put the double energy on Delmese. In case I ever get the energy to do it. Pokemon Center Lady. This time we're going to use Bind Down because it would kill him. I just draw two more surprise cards. He's done the one. I only need to do is knock out one more of his Pokemon. Roselia. Appleton. Tell him well played. The top three cards of Vacuum may reveal a Pokemon energy card you reveal there and put it in your hand. Well, he still could technically survive this just a little bit longer if he was managed to throw him out and swap him. Perplex. What does that do? Oh, it confused me. All right. Okay. Something that I probably should have thought was possible. So I'm going to actually put activate Sonya. I'm going to grab two grass energies. Dang it. And then I'm going to use, hopefully use the Rude's uh, Jungle Reds ability. I got ahead so it went through. So normally I'm, I think it's still going to try to let me. Yeah, I can now attach two energy cards to my Pokemon in any way I like. So I'm going to put two on Roselia, although it doesn't matter. I also heal damage for the Pokemon I attached to. There we go, victory. So two battles in a row, that's not too bad. Um, considering I screwed up a couple times. <laughs> 820 damage down, one coin flip. Did I get anything for that? Did I level up? No, I did not. Alright, thank everyone for watching this video. If you want some more, comment, subscribe. This is the Pokemon Fan 1993 signing off. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.